an age where science is leading us to greater discoveries and are the harbingers of success. There are times where we still struggle with understanding its powers and limitations. In a world with so many high-risk jobs such as mining, bomb deactivation, transferring of harmful reactive substances, border patrol, etc., the chances of injuring oneself is quite high. Do we have any solutions to prevent that? Yes, Clonata. The students of Air Force School, Hebal, Bangalore came up with a solution as a part of Clonovator's 2015. Manipal University, the pioneer for providing world-class education and Inc., a community that transforms imagination to impact, jointly set out on a journey to find India's brightest next-gen innovators and launched Teenovators 2015. Clonator is a robotic device that replicates the action done by its master. There are two components of our Clonator. One is the TX or the transmitter robot, other is the RX or the receiver robot. The master controls the receiver robot by the transmitter robot. As you people can see, it's getting replicated. So our project is the Cloniator. It doesn't need to be charged frequently. It doesn't use any microcontroller. We are presenting you the edge of the robotics and biomimicry. They have designed a Clonator robot which has two components. A transmitter robot which is the controller and is placed in a safe environment and receiver robot which is placed in the hazardous environment and clones the movements of the transmitter. Even a person with no special skills can operate the clonator. You can use the clonator as a prosthetic limb. The transmitter clonator will be fixed on the good working limb and the receiver clonator on that of the damaged limb. So the actions done by the uh, good working limb will be copied to the damaged limb via the cloniator. So this makes the man to walk like before and there will be a short delay between the board. As compared to other prosthetic limbs in the market, this is more economically cost effective and is also more durable. Thus the cloniator would be used for multiple tasks and save human lives which may otherwise be lost in risky situations. We can make the clonator wireless because wire can't be taken long, long away the globe. We can make it wireless. So we can use microcontrollers such as Arduino Uno and our, our radio frequency modules such as the TX and the RX radio frequency modules. So we have further future implementations or improvisations. So one of them are making the clonator modular form. Modular form is nothing but for some purposes you can't use single clonator. So you need to use two or three cloniators. So making it a modular form, you can can use two or three cloniators together. So this is our future improvisations. Thank you.